Thanks for clicking on this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on all bell notifications to keep up to date with my future uploads, information, and discussions. And if you're a super supporter, don't forget to check out my Patreon page where I upload designs that you can download and use on your projects. Dope. Thank you for your support. Okay, you guys, badge designs are really effective. It's something that you probably should get into because it brings that sense of community that you want, right? A lot of people make logo designs and they put that on t-shirts. A lot of people put full out art on their t-shirts, but a badge design is something a little bit more. It's something that says power, something that says strength. It's a symbol that says you are what you wear. And with that psychology, a lot of people buy into just that. So I want to show you guys how to make that today on T-Shirt Tuesday. So if there's something that you're into, go ahead and like and subscribe. And don't forget to bell me because I do this all the time. And also, don't forget that everything I make on this channel will be listed on Patreon. So you guys can pick this one up and put it on your shirts if you want it. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and get to Photoshop. Man, so I'm back here in Photoshop. It's been so long. I want to show you guys a simple way of putting together a badge design, right? I'm just going to go ahead and use the shape tool to create a circle. Some a little bit like this. And with that, we can put a stroke of black, maybe 60 pixels. And this serves as the structure of what we're going to do, right? All we have to do is just put our elements in. So I'm just going to grab from the Okami pack that I created. I want to grab this wolf. I want to grab this Japanese symbol for wolf. I'm going to grab maybe this star. And all we have to do is just size them down and put them into place. So I'm going to put this over here like this. I want this Japanese symbol for wolf to size down. I'll put it over here like this. And as far as this star, let me see. I'm going to make a few copies of it and just arrange them in different places. Now, of course, this wolf is outside the binding box, right? So I have to go ahead and make sure that I can clip this into that ellipse. So I'm just going to go into my layers panel, go ahead and right click and put this on a clipping mask. So there, it looks like this. And also, it's kind of thin, so I just want to go ahead and put a stroke of maybe 35 on it. That's all right. We can go ahead and bring up the strokes for this ellipse. We'll put this at 75, maybe 90. So it looks pretty powerful, right? Like, it's pretty strong. That's a nice badge right there. It didn't take us more than five minutes to make. But I want to go ahead and put some text around this badge. So I'm going to go back into the badge, and I'm going to take the ellipse that I created and hit Command J. And then I want to move the original one outside of the group that I just created. Now, I'm going to take this ellipse and just kind of scale it up. Not by too much, just by a little bit. We can even flatten it down like this just a little bit. So I'm holding down Alt to Option, going to the top and just kind of flatten it down like that. I'm not keeping this shape, but I'm going to use it for text. So I'm just going to go to the text tool, click on the line somewhere, maybe like right here, and then type out the words that I want. I could just say Okami, keep that at the top. As a matter of fact, I can probably put this at 144 points and then use the direct select tool, which is this arrow right here, and just kind of move it over, I guess maybe like into the center. Actually, let's just go 220 and just move that into place. And then we can just put like an established date right next to it. So we'll put EST on the left side, make sure that's in like 72. Hold down Alt to Option and then move that over to this side here onto the right side. And we'll put like a dash 19, right? We can actually make the established date just a little bit smaller. And that looks pretty cool, right? Let's just go ahead and make sure that the kerning on this is pretty good. So nothing seems off. We kind of want that A in the top center. I want that I to kind of like meet that O over here. So about like right here. And this is technically it right here. We could do some more flipping though. Like, you know, I like to flip things. So we could take this group, bring it up to the top, right? And we can add the word attack. So I created this in my vector pack. So you guys can pick that up if you want to. But we could just take this hit command option shift and e to create a duplicate of this it's pretty much just flatten the entire image we can turn off all of this and then from there we can take the magic wand tool and just take out all the white so we're going to click on the white and we're going to make a layer mask and invert the layer mask so therefore we're just left with everything that's in black we can go ahead and put that into a group and then we can use my texture brush just to make some texture on top of everything and then we get some art that looks a little bit like this it's still a badge design, it's just a little bit more full frame. But then again, all of this stuff is optional because we got the original badge design right here. And this stands as the ground for everything. So if you guys learned something today, go ahead and smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to share this out with somebody who maybe is looking to make a badge design. But with that being said, you guys have to get up out of here. So, stay amazing, stay creative, above all else, and stay awesome.